These smash and grab break ins are targeting luxury stores in larger cities, but right here in the desert, one man says that he was targeted with a theft that happened from right inside his own car. Be very careful. Think where are you going to park your car? James Campbell has some words of advice after a shopping trip to Desert Hills Premium Outlets in Cabazon this weekend. He and his family were on their way from L.A. to Arizona. He returned to his rental car on the top floor of the parking garage to find his back right windows smashed and three of his family's suitcases snatched from the trunk. Everything was gone. It looked like they used a circular object to go ahead and pop open the small part. They didn't open the doors. The alarm didn't trigger. So these are pros. They know what they're doing. Campbell says security and police were prompt to respond, but it's concerning to him that there were no security cameras to capture the incident. And after a closer look, he worries car break-ins could be happening there more than you might think. We started to notice that there was glass everywhere there on the, on the floor, not only around my car, but it looked like in other spots there. We asked the security and they kind of like hinted that this happens a lot here. A spree of violent smash and grab robberies is targeting California retailers as we head into the holidays. A large group of looters used a sledgehammer to break into this Nordstrom at the Grove in Los Angeles Monday night, ransacking the store and stealing thousands of dollars of merchandise. Heavy barricades went up Tuesday morning as crews cleaned up the shattered glass. And Sunday in the Bay Area, a flash mob of 40 to 50 looters targeting a jewelry store in a mall there. I think it's a crazy time right now. And I think people are bolder than ever. You just need to be careful, but you also need to go about your business and about your life. Giving some shoppers pause that even they could become the targets. For those listening in, we have nothing zero in the car. <laughs> this can ruin your holiday season. And we reached out to Simon, which owns the Cabazon outlets. They declined to comment for this story. The Sheriff's Department did not respond. Campbell's message tonight, though, is to remain vigilant and be very, very careful this holiday season.